Kira, and this is Carolyn. She's my babysitter and also my friend. <laughs> We're going on a leather hunt at the flea market. Yes, we are. Before kids can learn how to read, they need to be able to recognize letters and relate them to the sounds they make. So when we're out and about, we like to do fun things like letter hunts to work on letter sounds. We'll show you how. <laughs> All right, Kira, let's hunt for letters. Look, there's letters on that sign. Oh, yeah. What letters do you see? E and N and T. Awesome. Do you know what word that is? Let's sound it out together. Enter. Enter. Awesome. All right, Kira, let's go inside and look for more letters. Look, there's a huge S. Whoa, that is a huge S. When you find a letter, try to think of a fun way to talk about the sound it makes. Hey, Kira, what sound does an S make? That's right. Can you think of an animal that starts with the letter S? Snake. That's right. How about skunk? Seal. Seal, good job. Let's go find more letters. D. Awesome. What sound does a D make? D. D, that's right. What's that? Door. Door. All right, let's see if there are any other letters in here. P. P, that's right. What sound does a P make? What fruit is that? Pear. Pear. Do you know any other fruit that starts with P? Pineapple. Pineapple. I love pineapple. So good. Anything else? What about a peach? <laughs> peach. Perfect. Look, another P. You're right. That is another P. Do you know what that says? Let's sound it out together. Pick. Pick. Pick up, up your, your toys. toys. Yes, good job. You're so smart. Kara, let's go find some more letters. Let's go. <laughs> look, there's letters on the snow globe. Oh, yeah. Let's look at this one. What letter is that? L. L. That's right. What sound does an L make? Oh. Oh, right. What other letters do you see on here? An O, an N, a D, an O, and an S. You are so smart, Kira. What word does that spell? London. London. Right, give me five. You are so awesome. So let's go find more letters. <laughs> w. <laughs> That's right. Can you think of some words that start with W? Water. Water. Why? Why? What else? Walrus. Walrus. What about whiskers? <laughs> whiskers, that's right. You are so smart. Letters are everywhere. I know. When kids realize that letters are all over the place and not just in storybooks, they begin to understand just how important they really are. Whoa, look at all those letters. What letters do you see? I see a B. Smart girlfriend. What letter is this, Kara? M. What sound does an M make? Mmm. Mmm. I see a letter. This is my favorite letter. C. C. C for Carolyn. You pick a letter. K. K. K for Kira. Yeah. <laughs> what sound does the K make? K. K. Just like a C. Just like a C. Go on a letter hunt with the kids in your life and let us know how it goes by hashtagging Mother Goose Club on social media. As always, we'd love to hear from you. So type any comments into the box below. And don't forget to subscribe to be the first to hear about our new videos.
Because I love ducks. <laughs> I love puppies. <laughs> Today we're playing ABC Scavenger Hunt. It's a great way to get your kids practicing some early literacy skills as well as getting them moving and having a great time. Playful learning is so important to their development and today we're going to show you how with this literacy game. ABC letters, CVC and sight word cards, both sizes, ABC floor mats, large and small, chalk. Start by hiding letter or word cards inside or outside the house and let the games begin. Keep your eyes closed. Now, open your eyes. Okay, all right, so take a look around and each of you guys collect as many cards as you can. There are cards <laughs> everywhere, literally. Just get whatever you can get. That's good. Keep going. Keep getting more. Keep getting more. You make your own. Make your own stack. Here you go. Make a stack up. There are a few more There's out here. The blind. Is there one back there? Oh, nice. Good catch, Lynn. If the girls found a letter, they would either shout it out, match it to the floor tiles, or even try to come up with a word that began with that letter. Q. Do you have the letter Q? What do you? What letter do you have, Lennon? You have the letter V. V. Now find the letter. You have to match the letters. V. Yeah. V. V. You find the letter Q. No, 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 that's an A, that's an A. You know what? That looks, it's very, very close. It looks, it looks very similar. Yeah, there you go, good job. And let's separate them into letters and words, okay? So, you guys, you guys come right here. So the words, let's put them right here. So the first word, den, tap, fan, map. So this is a word, so this goes here. All the letters here, put them over here. Isla, so what I want you to do is, I want you to pick whatever word you want and go through there and let's see if you can put it together and make a word out of it. You have all your letters no, in this. Sentence. You know what? You can do a sentence. You probably won't be able to do it with those words because you don't have any verbs in there. If the girls found a word, we could either challenge them to build that word with floor tiles or to come up with another word that rhymed. Eventually, we decided to take our ABC scavenger hunt game outside. Once we got outside, we took our sidewalk chalk and we wrote words on the tiles. Then when the girls did their scavenger hunt, they brought the words that they found and they matched them with the words on the tile. Good job. Hey, girl. Good job, Lynn. What's the word? That is wag, Lenny. Wag, like a dag wags, a dog wags his tail. Wag. You have to see right here. Right there. Nope, other way. Sometimes, as you know, the little ones and their siblings like to compete, but this gave them an opportunity to work together as a team today. Can you help me find Ran? No, don't put the Right here. Here you go, put Dan down. Put Dan, show her where it is. Right here. There you go. That's a dick. All right. With Isla being at one level as a reader and with Lennon being at another level as a pre-reader, it gave him an opportunity for Isla to share a little bit of what she knows with her sister. And her sister was appreciative of it. And that's really cool to see. It was really nice to get the girls outside, get their bodies moving, and get them engaged. Obviously, anytime they're learning and having fun is a win-win for everyone. The ABC Scavenger Hunt is an exciting way to get everyone moving, building letter and word recognition, and playing together as a family.
we're making ABC cookies. It's a fun and tasty opportunity for you to connect with your kids and work on some of those early developmental skills. Cookies! Yes, cookies. cookies. We made it through the cookie. cookie. Now is the time to use your silence. 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 So let's roll our sleeves up and get right to it. Butter, sugar, egg, vanilla, flour, mixer, ABC cookie cutters, parchment paper, baking sheets, rolling pin, cookie icing, mixing bowls, measuring cups. All right, ladies, so we are going to make some cookies today, but before we need cookies, what do we need? Stuff! Stuff! Stuff and to make the dough. Today we made ABC cookies. So we got all our ingredients together, we mixed them up, we made some dough. To make cookies, what's the one thing we need? We need to make the dough. We gotta make the dough, so we're gonna make the dough. Today we have some butter, some sugar, some eggs, some flour, but first we gotta start off with the butter and the sugar. So, lemon, there's some butter. Isla, there's some sugar. sugar. Now, lemon, you put the, put the butter in there, don't get it, yeah, yeah, all right, Isla, get that sugar over there, put it in a hole though. Make sure you get it in there. You got space. Yeah, man. Whoa! That's where the sweet comes from. All right, so here we go, ready? Uno, dos, tres. Wow. Whoa. Okay. All right. We gotta get it to creamy, okay? So we're gonna let it whip for a little bit longer. It's cool part, you have a little machine to do this for you. If you don't have a machine, then you can just take a spoon or whatever you have and whip it with your hands. I want you to take the first step and, and commit that egg. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. You hear that plop? You hear that egg plop? Yeah, that's what we're after right there. Go ahead and get all the all the egg white. Why don't you go ahead and hit that? And what you gotta do? We gotta really, really. Vanilla just a smells little, like just a cinnamon. Little, just a little, a just a little. Lot. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Ooh. Yeah, good job, Lynn. <laughs> nice with the touch. Good job. All right, now Isla. Wait, wait. No, wait. I gotta come down here, Isla. I want you to hit the switch. All right. There you go. Yeah, you gotta use that muscle. That's right. Now show the camera your muscles. Show the camera your muscles. Yeah, show, look at the camera, show them, let them know. Hey, 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 you gotta have some muscles. Can I turn it on? No, don't touch anything. Can I turn it on? Uh, no, because it's actually sort of hard to do. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it with my muscles. Yeah, hey, see if you can hit that too. There you go. Yeah, hit it, girl. Hit it one more, one more. One more. Let's whip it. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Look over there and see if it looks good, Isla. Ooh. Does it look like? Does it look alright? It's like really yellow. It looks yeah. yeah. It looks like egg. The it's egg is like turning it. into dough. Oh, it's looking like dough. It's starting to dough up. It smells good. Yes, yes. You know, your butter, sugar, and vanilla you make mm. much magic. Then we rolled that dough, cut some cookies out of it, put them in the oven. Then we decorated them. So we got to pull out our dough, and we're gonna roll. Oh, yeah, yo. roll it. Are you ready? Like a cookie. Are you guys ready to roll some dough? Yeah! Yeah! All right, let's get it. You rolling it out. Roll that thing out, girl. You're doing a good job. All right, Lynn, you want to roll it a little bit? All right, give it a shot. Hey, Lynn, look at those muscles. <laughs> so now comes the time where we, we have to, to cut. we have to do some cookie cutting. To do some cookie cutting, we have all of your cookie cutters, all right here. So, you can only cut the cookie if you can nail, tell me what the letter is. That is, what? these, uh, listen, you're not far off. This is the letter Z, we're dealing letters. These are all letters, I'll give you that, that hint, okay? A. That is the letter A, cut a cookie. C. And what letter, C. what letter is that? C, C. C, Z, Z. A great job cutting cookies, ladies. And go ahead and press it down, press it down hard. Use those, use those gymnastics muscles. Show, show them your muscle face. Show them your muscle face. Aw, oh, Lynn, that wasn't the muscle face. There you go. And you got your Z, boom, like that. Excellent. Tell them what the L is for. Lady! Yeah, that's right, girl, good job. I want you to find a three letter word. You gotta spell a word for me, okay? Okay? Get that G out of there. That a girl. You may have to stand up a little bit. Put some weight on it. Or you might, and if you have difficulty, you can also tap it. Tap it around, like pound, give it a little pound. There you go, yeah. 
Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? You know what? I could give you some. I'm gonna give you a tool for the back. I think you got. I think you got. Yeah, I think you got a clean cut that time. That a girl. Nice. And Isla, you have a doe A two A for Isla and Apple. Doe A two A. And so yeah, two. We have two doe A. So what do we have? We have A A N G T O L E Z. Perfect. So we're gonna take these and we're gonna go put these in the oven. Come on, let's go. And the cookies are cooked. And they're cool, just to let everybody know. Now, which color do you want? You have a red and green left. I don't know. Mm, the green. I got All right, grab video. grab the green. I'll grab, a, I'll grab a red. This activity actually goes beyond literacy as it focuses on fine motor skills and hand-eye coordination. All right, what are you making with yours, Isla? I'm just gonna outline it. Oh, nice, that's a good idea. <laughs> I didn't like those cookies because there was so, um, a lot of sprinkles on them. Can we do another one? <laughs> yeah, of course we can. Let's finish the one we do it first. Let's see. I'm done. You're done? Yeah. Yeah. And that's awesome. And let's see what else. Get it going. And then you got some craziness going on. Yeah, you got the ketchup. You got the ketchup looking icing. ABC Cookies is an activity that engages all five of your kids' senses and gives them the opportunity to engage in some educational and delicious play. Now's the moment we've been waiting for. It's time to eat the cookies. Eat the cookies. You can eat one of the cookies. cookies. Mm -hmm. So was it worth all the work? Uh-huh. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Yeah, good. Good, enjoy your cookie. It's a great opportunity to connect, and like I said, it tastes delicious. Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be making what we call fizzy letters. It's another colorful and fun activity for you and your kids to work on some of those early literacy skills, and this one even incorporates a little bit of science. It smells good, but doesn't taste good. And knitting, that starts with the K. Ah, okay. there you go. You have to wait for me to finish talking. Because when you talk and I talk at the same time, we no, can No, it, it just sounds like blah, 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 exact, blah. Exactly. So, let's get started. Alphabet ice cube trays, water, baking soda, jello, mixing bowl, spoon, measuring cups, vinegar, eyedroppers, clear plastic bin. To start off, we need to make our fizzy jello concoction. Now this is a little bit different recipe than you might be accustomed to. This one requires three parts baking soda, one part water, and the jello itself. First thing we have to do is to make our gelatin ice letters. So what we're gonna do is we have our ingredients here, we have our baking soda, we have our jello, and we're gonna mix them all together. You guys ready? Yep. Now Isla, be be careful. Careful. Yeah, hey, careful. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, girl. Yeah, nice oh, job. Oh, oh. Okay, now it's time for the water. Okay, you be very careful then. Very careful. Oh, oh yeah. All right, just like that. Now we gotta whip it a little bit. It looks like milk. So we we'll put on the finishing touches. Lennon, you're gonna get the first crack at the Jello. So put a little bit. Get it in there. <laughs> there you go. All right, yeah, go spread it around. All right, smell that yellow jello? That lemon. The lemon, you pop in there, get a little bit, get a little bit yellow, your jello, jello. Don't, don't dump it all, save some, all right. Like the rest of it. Just put about half of it. And then, yeah. Len, you put the rest of it in there. Go ahead and dump that box out. Yeah, that girl, good, now give it a shake. There you go, all out, all right. So we got all of our yellow jello in here. Oh, look, and we're getting fluffy. You can have your kids whip together all of the ingredients, and once you have your concoction, you can pour it into your ABC ice cube tray and put it in the freezer. Ladies, roll with me. Does this look like what you thought it looked like? Yeah. Good, now it's ready to go. Me first? Yeah, I'm gonna pour yours first, Isla. I want you to take this, and I want you to give it a little spread. Let me know, spread it around. Here, you're gonna need a little more, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's smells good. Yeah, right? Fill this one up, fill that one up, fill this one up. That's a lot, Dad. It is a lot, Lennon, but you know what? You're worth it. Let's do this. This is going right in here. Wait, wait, I keep using it forward, I can't see. I'm gonna scrape it that like that. And we can keep your arm back so it doesn't get on your clothes, okay? And we'll scrape it over this way, away from you. There you go, now. Okay. Cooking with grease. But what are we gonna do now? Put it in the freezer. That's right, good job, Lynn. So, we're off to the freezer with these, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do our 
fizzy business. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take this and put this in the freezer. What? Once the letters are frozen, you can bring them out, and put them in a bin, and let the kids play with them. They can use these letters to work on letter recognition and their CVC and sight words. Here we go. All right, all set. So I have the frozen letters. So, Landon, I want you to grab right here. Isla, I want you to grab right here. And I want you guys to flip it over. And when we flip it over, we gotta start punching out the sides. You guys are gonna do it together. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. You gotta push it, just push it from the back. Flip it over, flip it over, flip it over. And they're gonna fall right out. There you go, go for it. I think the D is the next one. Yeah, there you go, try to push it all out as a whole. There you go, good job. Once the kids are done playing with their letters, take some eyedroppers, fill them with vinegar, let them squirt them on the letters. They'll fizz and disintegrate into slime. You'll have a great time playing with that too. So now, what we're gonna do is you guys can I want to pick purple. out your dropper. You got the purple one. And That's get blue. You, get your blue. All right, now here are the rules. Isla, for you to squirt a letter, you have to tell me what, uh, you have to tell me a word that begins with the letter. That I want to do. That you want to do. Now if you want to do three at a time, or if you want to do I more, to spell a word. you can spell a word. I'm going to do M-O-M, -M, mom. Okay, great. So put your, matter of fact, go ahead and reach over in there. You can organize them how you want. You can put them together and then you can make them fuzzy yourself. M. Find the O. You can you help Isla find an O. Oh. You see the O over there? Okay, she found, she found one. She found M another one. She found it. What do you got? M. O, O, and then N. Nice, okay. No. So you're gonna get to do four at one time, so great. Some of the other benefits of doing an activity like this where you're working in the kitchen and squeezing and pouring and it's so hands-on are that it really requires the children to use a lot of motor skills. Also, it really encourages them to utilize and develop some of that hand-eye coordination they'll need for a lot of different activities. <gasps> Look at it, it's fizzing. <laughs> Squeeze it out. Now look in there. Now you did the letter I, so the letter I, do you know what the sound the letter I makes? Eh, 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 that's right. You have that letter I there, and the letter A. So what you're doing, you're hitting the vowels. Did you know you're hitting the vowels? So A, E, I, O, and U are vowels. Now Y is for yo-yo. Yo, yo! Go ahead and hit it with some more vinegar. See if you make it fizzier. I don't know if it helps. Put it on one letter. This is crunching up. That is crunching up. You've almost extinguished the R. Knitting. That starts with the K. Ah. Okay. There you go. Little, little and silent then K action. And then the I. Following steps helps kids understand sequencing and how that relates to achieving a goal. And once they're achieving goals, there's a lot of great confidence that can come from that experience. So, now that you have uh, disintegrated your, your letters there. Yeah, go ahead and, and muck it up. Go ahead and get, get, your, get your hands in there. Oh, it's get your cold. Hands in, get your hands in there. Oh. It's cold like yogurt. Is it gritty or is it slimy? It's or? slimy. It's like slime. Is it? Is it like smooth? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it is super <laughs> cold. Oh, what, a, what, a, what, a, what a funny sort of goop it is now. The colors all mixed oh, together. Oh, yeah. that's so pretty. Yeah, you mix it all together, see? It's gonna be like so rainbow! Oh, rainbow! Until it's not. Oh. <laughs> Until we mix it all together, oh. it's bloody. Hey, ladies. Jelly time. Yeah. You guys work so hard, it's such a great job. <laughs> I thought you should have some for yourselves. Dig in. Enjoy. Oh yeah, it's jello. Did you get it off your finger? <laughs> there you go. All in all, Fizzy Letters is a great way for you and your kids to connect around principles of science and literacy and have a ton of fun doing it. So, have a great time making your own Fizzy Letters. Hey everyone, today me and the girls are gonna show you how to make a spooky spaghetti sensory bin. It'll help you develop some of those sensory skills and get you ready for Halloween. So, let's go. One pound of spaghetti prepared according to the box's instructions. White vinegar, a tablespoon, food coloring, a one gallon resealable plastic bag, plastic bin. Spooky toys, we use squishy eyeballs, witch's fingers, bones, spiders, rubber snakes, and pumpkins. Halloween candy, blindfolds. 
Boogie 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 boogie. Okay, okay, okay. Now, now that everybody's good and scared, we are going to work on our spooky spaghetti sensory bins. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Are you ready, Lynn? Yeah. 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 All right, great. So the spooky star of the show today is our sensory spaghetti. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna show you how to color that spaghetti and make it something that you can use for this activity. So the first thing we have to do to get this party started is to get the vinegar that's in this bottle into these bowls. So how are we gonna do that? We're gonna take this, the tablespoon, and we're going to fill it up four times. You guys wanna count along with me? Yeah. Good. So, One, two, two. All right. three, and all right, so we went to the store. We couldn't find any purple uh, food coloring. But what we could find, we could find red. And what, what color is this? Blue. Actually, right, so we could find red and blue. And what do we do? What happens when we mix red and blue? It makes the color Purple! we want. Mix it up gently, and you'll start to see that that purple color is going to start to happen. So we're going to take our vinegar and our color, and we're going to put it in our bag. We're going to put the bag, the bowl in the bag a little bit, so then when we turn it, it's that simple. There's literally no way we can spill it. And then we start packing our spaghetti in. Just, don't, just put them in there. Put them in there however you want. <laughs> Atta girl. Yeah, there you go. This can be a little tricky even for an adult, so if you want to move things along a little bit, you may want to help your kids with this. And we'll close your bag gonna work that color into your spaghetti. Turn it that way, turn it the other way, and then and then you can turn it, you can flip it over, you can shake it, you can flip it, you can shake it. Yeah, you can flip it, you can shake it. Yeah, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Kids love using their hands, so this part of the activity is always a lot of fun. They get to handle the spaghetti, and mix the vinegar, and mix the color, and put it in the bag, and, and turn it around, and flip it, and, and do all of these different things. It's a great way for them to develop their fine motor skills, and have a lot of fun while doing it. Yes, excellent job guys. So now that we have oodles of colored spaghetti noodles, we're gonna let them sit for a few hours and let them really soak up that color and stuff, okay? And once your spaghetti is saturated, you give it a little rinse, and then you can dump it in your bin. Ah, yeah. Squeeze them all over in there. All right. Now, here's where things get spooky. Once you have your bin filled with slimy spaghetti, now it's time to blindfold your kiddos. Yeah, put on your, yeah, put on your mask. There you go, <laughs> girl. What does the fox say? Oh boy, shout out to, to the, what does the fox say, people? Go ahead and put, put that down over your eyes. Put that down over your eyes. Then, you're gonna add lots of tricks into the mix. And you guys. Once you have all your items in the bin, have your kids reach in and guess what they find. We're gonna play rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Nope, you gotta close your... Uh, uh, uh. I'll tell you who won. Two, three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Isla, you draw first. Pumpkin. It's a pumpkin? Yeah. Alright, put that in your bowl. That was that was pretty easy. What do you see? What, do you, what is that? Eyeball. <laughs> yeah, here's an eyeball. Did you peek? Hold on, hold on. What? What's it feel like? Tell me, tell me what you're feeling right now. It feels that long. You gotta leave it on that long. Kids first learn to understand things via their senses. So each time they encounter something that's cold or sticky or wet, it reinforces their understanding of those characteristics. Is it slimy? Yeah. Is it is it soft? Is it squishy? Is it an eyeball? <laughs> It is an eyeball. Good job. All right, another eyeball. What? Uh, so you're good at finding eyeballs. All right. Uh, what's this? A bone. A bone. Yeah, snake. It's made of plastic. Yeah. Everything. Oh. Ah. <laughs> and what does that feel like? Does that does that feel does that feel like anything? <laughs> I, I don't like spiders. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's a snake. <laughs> After some more challenging sensory tasks, it's always great to reward your kids with a treat. And since it's Halloween, how could you not incorporate candy? 
divulge that in. On the count of three, mm -hmm. I want you guys to dig right in and find as much Halloween okay. candy okay. as you possibly can. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Right, let me toss it up, toss it up, toss it up. One, two, three. Alright, edit girl. Good I job. have so much candy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. Oh man, you had 11. Even with treats involved, this is a great opportunity for your kids to benefit from sensory play. You can have them guess what the flavor is of the candy, whether it's sweet, whether it's sour. Which one of these are we gonna have Isla try first? <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, so unwrap it. Can you unwrap it? You unwrap it, okay. Here. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay, all right, now here's, here's your stick. What flavor is that? Um, is it? Watermelon? Ooh, well done, Isla. Are you ready? For oh! the, are you ready for the next one? Yeah. Is it orange? Ooh, yes. Yeah. You are, you're on a roll. <laughs> Having kids communicate their experiences strengthens language development and social skills, which helps them communicate better in everyday life. After you make your spooky spaghetti sensory bin, be sure to let us know how it goes in the comments. If you got any tips, tricks, or treats, we'd love to hear about it. Thanks so much for watching, and happy Halloween. Watermelon. Simon says, pat your heads. Simon says, rub your bellies. Simon says, give your daddy a hug. Yeah! Hey, I'm Jesse. Did you know that playing the game Simon Says with your kids is actually really good for their brains? And it's also a fun way for them to practice self-regulation, the ability to control your behavior. This game also requires players to listen, focus, and follow directions. And if your kids are like mine, well, they can definitely use some more practice in that area. In this video, I'll show you how to play. <laughs> to play, start by choosing someone to be Simon, the leader. Simon will give commands to the other players. When the commands begin with Simon says, the other players must follow those instructions. If the command does not begin with Simon says, any player who follows it is out. All right, guys, we're ready to play? Yeah. You sure? All right, yeah. so Simon says, touch your head. Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, close your eyes. Reach down and touch your toes. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, move like a robot. Simon says, play the air guitar. Now freeze. Ah, yeah. I gotcha, I gotcha. All right. When kids learn to listen carefully to each command and decide whether to follow, they're demonstrating self-regulation, which will help them do well in school. Simon says, flap your arms like a chicken. Simon says, stand on one foot. Simon says, make a funny face. Simon says, twirl like a ballerina. All right, now bow. Simon says, touch your ears. Touch your nose. Simon says, quietly run in place. Simon says, stop. Simon says, run again. All right, let's take a little break. Ah, I got you again! <laughs> Alright. You can adapt this game to play with kids of all ages. My little one, for example, may be too young to fully understand the rules of Simon Says. So when I play with him, my focus is introducing him to new words. Simon Says, touch your ears. Yeah, good job. Simon Says, touch your nose. Yeah, good job. Simon says, smile. Simon says, wiggle your fingers. Simon says, flap your arms like a chicken. Simon says, dance in place. Yeah! As you can see, my kids love to play Simon Says, and I love that they get to practice their self-regulation skills. Now we wanna know how you and your kids play Simon Says. Share pictures and videos by hashtagging them Mother Goose Club. Add your stories in the comments section below. 
And don't forget to subscribe to be the first to hear about new videos. Simon says, say goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, I'm Jesse. <laughs> Just in case you don't know, I'm Jesse. <laughs> Definitely use some. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Simon says, get it together. <laughs> so, the ability to. <laughs> the ability to control your behavior. <laughs> you guys are so good. Oh, you smacked me in the face. I can't, I can't win. I can't win with these guys. <laughs> the ability to control your beat. <laughs> Simon says. Simon says, rub your belly. Let's try again. <laughs> Yeah! Really good for your kids' brains? No. Really good for your kids' brains? That sounds funny. Actually, really good with, really good with their brains. So you have your kids and their brains. Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Ooh. Dude, you're good. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get him on that one. When kid, wait, wait. <laughs> when, gosh, when kids learn, ow now, brown cow. To understand the rules of practice, there. Ah, and share ah, and add. Too young to understand. Ah, if the command. Ah. Simon says. Let's <laughs> say yeah, goodbye. It's a fun. fun. Way. It's a fun way. Fun. Fun. Funyuns. <laughs> patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Hi everyone, my name is Liam. I play Eep the Mouse on the Mother Goose Club. One of my favorite rhymes is patty cake, and in this video, my friend KJ and I will show you how to do it. <laughs> rhymes and songs are super fun. They're also great for little kids, and one reason is memory. Hearing words in a rhyme makes them easier to learn and remember. We're going to do patty cake one time, then go through it line by line. You ready? Yes. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, roll it, mark it with a B, and put it in the oven for baby and me. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. If your kids are old enough, you can do the first two lines like this. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Or for babies, you can hold their arms and do it for them. Are you ready to be a baby? Sure. <laughs> patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. For the last two lines, pretend to bake a cake. Pat it and roll it. And mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. One more time from the top. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and roll it and mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. <laughs> Good job. Thanks! Get your kids to do motions with you, any motions, because moving along with a rhyme or music makes kids more coordinated. As you can see, patty cake is good for kids of all ages. If your baby is too young to understand the words, she can start learning the sounds and enjoy the time you spend with her. So get in there and patty cake it up. Show off your mad rhyming skills by hashtagging photos and videos with Mother Goose Club and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more great tips and songs. And check out Mother Goose Club's patty cake starring you know who. One reason is memory. If the mm, hearing words, hearing words in a there you go, that's it. <laughs> is good for kids of kids, kids, kids. <laughs> the oven, baby. I'm sorry, I okay. forgot. Could you, <laughs> could you, <laughs> one time, again, then, I'm sorry, whoa. Let me have your head. There, no, don't turn your body. Just, your Just let me have your head. 
what's the line? Hold on. <laughs> Helps them. Makes. 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 Makes them. Makes. makes them easier makes. to learn and remember. I'm sorry. I got it. It's just, I, just, I just get in front of the camera. I'm like, uh. Where are you supposed to look, honey? One more time from the top. Sorry. <laughs> oh, there he is. And Hello. roll. <laughs> Let's tell one, one more time from the top. Yeah. <laughs>